Jesus our Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let us read the word of God and let us listen to the word of God and let us pray. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Chapter 5 from verses 17. Gospel according to St. Luke, chapter 5, from verses 17. One day, while he was teaching, Pharisees and teachers of the law were sitting nearby, and the power of the Lord was with him to heal. Just then, some men came carrying a paralyzed man on a bed. They were trying to bring him in and lay him before Jesus, but finding no way to bring him in because of the crowd, they went up on the roof and led him down with his bed through the ties into the middle of the crowd in front of Jesus. When he saw their faith, he said, Friend, your sins are forgiven. Friend, your sins are forgiven. Gospel of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us pray to the Lord so that we hear His voice through this Divyavani channel. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Listen, let your hearts keep seeking. Listen to his constant speaking. Listen to the Spirit calling you. Listen to his inspiration. Listen to his invitation. Listen to the Spirit calling you he's in the sound of the thunder in the whisper of the breeze he's in the might of the whirlwind in the roaring of the sea listen let your heart keep seeking listen to his constant speaking listen to the spirit calling you listen to his inspiration listen to his invitation listen to the spirit calling you listen to the spirit calling you listen to the spirit calling you listen to his inspiration listen to the spirit calling you hallelujah 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 Father, our loving God, your people are eagerly waiting to listen the Spirit calling and the Spirit voice. They are eagerly waiting to hear the Spirit, 
They are eagerly waiting to hear the voice of Jesus. They are eagerly waiting to listen to your voice, Father. Help us all to hear your voice. Help us to listen, Lord. We make this prayer through Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Once again, greetings to you all in the name of Jesus the Lord. Praise the Lord. How are you all? The people of God, how are you all? I am praying for all those who are watching Divyavani. I am praying for all those who are directly or indirectly helping to telecast this Divyavani. And before I stand here to preach something for you, I sincerely prayed God. I sincerely prayed God for you all so that you listen God's voice. And today God wants to speak to you. The people of God, God wants to speak to you all. And the topic for today is sin. God wants to speak to you all about sin. God wants to speak to you all about sin. Dear people of God, are you sinning in life? As a human beings, you and I commit sin. As a human beings, you and I, we all commit sin. Yes or no? Yes, it says we commit sin. If you read from Genesis, Adam and Eve committed sin. And if you take the life of David, he committed sin. And if you take the life of the people of Nineveh, they committed sin. A prostitute woman committed sin. Jechaius committed sin. And if, if you read Bible, there are so many people who have committed sin. The same way you and I are committing sin on, in our day-to-day -day life. Yes, dear brothers and sisters, you and I are committing sin in day-to-day -day life. And what God wants to say to you and to me, if you read from the Gospel of St. Matthew chapter 1, verses 21, it's clearly said, Jesus was sent by the Father to this world to save you and me from sin. Father has sent his only son to this world to save you and me from sin. And if you read from first letter of St. John chapter 3 verses 5, Christ was born in this world to take away your sins are my sins. If you read from the first letter of St. John, chapter 3, verses 5, clearly written, He came to this world to save you and to me from sin. And if you read from the first letter of St. John, chapter 2, verses 2, chapter 2, verses 2, He says, He not only forgives your sins and my sins, but He came to this world to forgive the sins of the entire world. He forgives not only you and me, but he forgives everyone in this world. That is why a priest says during the Holy Eucharist, this is the lamp of God who takes away our sins, the sins of all the world. Yes. Yes. And what is the desire of the Father? What is the desire of the Father? If you read from the second letter of Peter, chapter 3, verses 9. Second letter of Peter, chapter 3, verses 9. It is clearly written the desire of the Father. The people of God who are watching this Divyavani, you may have some desires in life. Yes, we have desires. And I too have some desires. But what is the desire of the Father? 
द डिजायर ऑफ द फादर इज नॉट टू डिस्ट्रॉय यू एंड मी इज क्लियरली रिटर्न सेड इन द सेकेंड लेटर ऑफ सेंट पीटर चैप्टर थ्री वर्सेस नाइन ही डजेंट वॉन्ट यू टू बी डिस्ट्रॉयड एंड ही डजेंट वॉन्ट मी टू बी डिस्ट्रॉयड बट वट हिज इज डिजायर हिज डिजायर इज टू सेव यू एंड मी फ्रॉम सिन His desire is to save you and me from sin. It's clearly written that he wanted to save you and me. And if you read from the first letter of Saint John, chapter four, verse ten. First letter of Saint John, chapter four, verse ten. He says, "I love you." He says to you and to me, the pe dear people of God. Who are watching Divya Vani? He is saying to you and to me that he loves you and me. Since he loves you and me, he says in the first letter of Saint John, chapter four, verse ten. Since he loves you and me, he doesn't count want to count your sins and my sins, but he want to save you and me through his son. He want to save you and me through his son, and that is why he sent his son. His son was sent to this world to save you and me. That's how he want to show his love. He want to express his love. He expresses his love to you and to me by forgiving you and me, and we are forgiven. We are forgiven, dear brothers of God, dear sisters of God. In the confession, God forgives us. During the Holy Eucharist, God forgives us, dear brothers and sisters. If when you participate in the Holy Eucharist, the first and foremost that God want to do through the Eucharist is to forgive you and me. What is the first and foremost that God want to do in the Eucharist is to forgive you and me. Yes, He want to forgive you and me from sin. who participate in the eucharistic celebration and all those who participate in confession he want to forgive you and me and he clearly says and he clearly says from the first letter of st john chapter 1 verses 9 he clearly says from the first letter of st john chapter 1 verses 9 he clearly says all those who come to me with a repented heart i will forgive you When you confess your sins before me, he says, "I will forgive you," and God is ever ready to forgive you and me. He says clearly, and he want to explain by two important examples. He want to explain to us about forgiveness, forgiveness by two examples. If you read from the Gospel of Saint Luke, chapter five, verses seventeen. If you read from the Gospel of Saint Luke, chapter five, verses seventeen, there was a paralyzed man, and they brought. They wanted to bring this paralyzed man to Jesus, and they could not bring because there was huge crowd. There was huge crowd. they could not bring a paralyzed man and what they did they somehow managed to bring this paralyzed man to jesus and what did jesus do before healing this paralyzed man what did jesus say jesus said 
clearly in the gospel of St. Luke chapter 5 verses 20 clearly says your sins are forgiven. Before he curing this paralyzed man, he says, you are sins are forgiven. And if you read from the gospel of St. John chapter 8, if you read from the gospel of St. John chapter 8 from verses 1, there was a prostitute woman. Those days they used to throw stones on this prostitute woman and kill her. All those who are doing prostitute, all those who are sinning against God, they used to throw stones on them and kill them. And this is the law of Moses. They used to kill them. And they brought this prostitute to Jesus. They thought that Jesus would throw a stone on her and kill her. But what did Jesus say? What did Jesus say to them? Did anyone of you not sin? And they could not able to throw a stone on the women, a prostitute women, because they know for themselves that they are going against the law of God. They know that they are committing sin in their life and they could not throw a stone on this prostitute woman. Neither Jesus threw it because Jesus want to forgive this woman. Jesus want to forgive this woman. Dear brothers and sisters of God, we all need miracles in life. We all need blessings from God. Children need blessings from God. Young men and women need blessings from God. All those who are sick need blessings from God. All those who are having problems in life need blessings from God. All those old, in age, seniors want to receive blessings from God and want to receive so many miracles from God. We all expect that. But what do God expect from us? We expect so many things happening in our life and there are so many desires in our life. But what do God expect you and me? What is God expecting from you and me? What is God? If you want to receive what you expect, fulfill what God expects from you. What God expects from you. Are you willing to submit your sins to the Lord? Are you willing to confess your, your sins to the Lord? When you confess your sins to the Lord, you receive miracles. When you confess sins to the Lord, you receive blessings. When you confess your sins to the Lord, you receive so many miracles happening here. That's what Jesus did in the gospel of St. Luke chapter 5. Before healing this paralyzed man, he said your sins are forgiven. Yes, even in the Eucharistic celebration before receiving Jesus, we need to confess our sins. Yes, before we pray, first and foremost, we need to confess our sins. And God, in the first letter of St. John, chapter 1, verses 9, He says, All those who confess your sins before me, I will forgive. And dear people of God, brothers and sisters, you are expecting your sins to be forgiven. Just confess, pour out your sins to the Lord. And you will receive blessings from the Lord. You will receive blessings from the Lord. Just to say, Lord, I have sinned against you. Knowingly and unknowingly, I have gone astray from you. I disobeyed you. I disobeyed your commandments. I disobeyed your word of God. I disobeyed my elders. I disobeyed my life. I am cheating my life. Unable to live my life truthfully. I am unable to live my justly. Are we able to confess? And Jesus will surely say with a loving heart, your sins are forgiven. All those who need healing, he says, your sins are forgiven.
All those who want blessings, he says, your sins are forgiven. All those who want miracles in life, he says, your sins are forgiven. But let us say to the Lord, Lord, forgive us from all our sins. Lord, forgive me from all my sins with the whole heart. Let us say to our father who loves us through his son. Say that, let us say to our father who loves us through the spirit. Is with the abandoned mercy. He is a God who forgives us. He is a God who will have mercy on us. He is a God who will have compassion on us. Yes, let us confess our sins before the Lord and say, Lord, I am sorry. Lord, I am sorry for my sins. Bless us, Lord. Let's wholeheartedly say to the Lord and receive blessings from the Lord. Let us sincerely pray to the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let us sincerely pray for all those who are watching Divyavani. Let us sincerely pray for all those who are helping directly or indirectly to telecast this Divyavani. Let us pray to our loving Father. Father, our loving God. We thank you for all the blessings you have been to us. You are so great. You are so marvelous. You are so mighty. Alpha and Omega. We could able to ex exist in life because just because of you. We could able to live life because of you, Lord. You are a Lord God who forgives us. You are a God who has compassion on us. You are a God who loves us. Father, forgive the sins of those who are watching Divyavani. Father, forgive my sins. Father, forgive the sins of this world. And you promise that you will forgive. That's why you send your only son to this world. And you love us so much that you forgive us our sins. You said that you will not count on our sins. You will not count on our weakness. Lord, we are weak. We are unworthy. We present ourselves before you. Lord, we present all the brothers and sisters who are watching this Divyavani. Bless us all and forgive us all from our sins and give us your blessings. Give us your compassion. Give us your love. We make this prayer through Lord Jesus Christ, your son who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. 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 The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. God bless you. Amen. Amen. Amen.